Hey everybody, one of the biggest questions everyone is asking with FedNow is, am I gonna make money using FedNow? What's the value proposition? That's a great question. And to answer it, we first need to determine how much the FedNow service is gonna cost. The Fed, well, they recently let us know the pricing, or I should say the expected pricing for FedNow. To begin with, there will be a fee a $25 monthly fee. That's a $25 FedNow service participation fee for every routing and transit number that enrolls in the service to receive credit transfers. That's for everyone. Or let's say for each routing number that is set up to receive FedNow payments. And if you're going to be sending, then there will be a fee of 4.5 cents per transaction to be paid by the sender. And that 4.5 cents includes returns. If you will be using requests for payments or RFPs, then a fee of 1 cent for a request for payment message is to be paid by the requester, including both requests for a new payment or funds to be returned. A participating financial institution can send an RFP through FedNow to another participating financial institution to request payment of a bill, an invoice, or some other amount that's owed by the receiving financial institution's customer. Another thing that we recently learned, will there be any transaction limits? And the answer is yes. The limit for credit transaction values will be a maximum of 500,000 per transaction. But make sure to note that Fed will have all participants set a default limit of 100,000. Participants will have the option to raise or lower that limit based on, well, their risk appetite. Now, I'd also like to note that participants should also have limit controls within their FedNow processing software. And that's to have as an added or extra layer of control. How does this compare to other payment channels? That's a great question. We look at the value proposition. We want to look at other payment channels. Let's look at same day ACH and RTP from the clearinghouse. For same day ACH, how's that comparison work out? Well, ACH is much less, 0 0.0035 cents for a forward item. Also for same day ACH, there is the 5.2 cents that an ODFI pays the RDFI for a same day ACH entry. Gotta stress, that's the same day ACH entry. That makes processing a same-day ACH a benefit to the receiving financial institution. Also note, the same-day ACH has a million dollar per entry limit and can process debits or credits. But it's only on banking days. There's no processing on weekends or federal holidays and it's restricted to certain windows during that day. So there definitely isn't the same speed. It might cost the sender a little more than Fed now, but on the receiving side, it is a 5.2 cent incentive that actually doesn't exist in Fed now. More on that to come. First, what about the RTP comparison? An RTP credit transfer costs the sending financial institution 4.5 cents, same as FedNow. RTP remittance advice that are sent have a cost of one cent and the sending of a request for payment will also cost the sending financial institution one cent. And for the receiving institution of an RFP, there's a 10 cent incentive. That means that upon each successful RTP credit transfer sent in response to an RFP message, the sending participant initiating the RTP 
will owe 10 cents, the incentive fee, to the participant that initiated that response, that RTP credit transfer response. Almost double what we saw with same-day ACH. And there doesn't appear to be any incentives being offered for using FedNow. Is that a bad thing? That FedNow doesn't have a receiver incentive? I don't think so, as this flips the incentive over to the sending FI to be more likely to make use of RFPs. I must note, that this is the initial pricing that we're talking about that's been released by the Fed for FUDNOW. <laughs> and of course it's subject to change because when it does go live, anything can happen between now and then. Will we see a future incentive for RFTPs from Fed? That's a good question. I don't think so. I think the incentive's already there. For now, class dismissed. <laughs>